Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Plenty of mixed reaction a day after the surprise move by the White House to pull the G8 summit from Chicago. Viewed as a missed opportunity by some on the Chicago business scene and a dodged bullet by others. And for more analysis, I'm joined by Cranes reporter Bridget Sweeney. Uh, Bridget, who'd you talk to and uh, what was the general reaction from the business scene? Well, I talked to a lot of the hospitality industry players, um, a lot of marketing people, a lot of people who um, kind of have foreign uh, relations experience, and a lot of different opinions. Um, the hospitality people were obviously pretty bummed. Um, they had really gotten on board. All of the hotels, um, eight different hotels, each had bookings from a different one of the eight G8 countries, and um, they all were pretty excited. Um, definitely disappointed and definitely going to be losing out on a big chunk of business. And on those downtown hotels and restaurants, there's, aside from losing some potential bookings that may have been here, mm -hmm. there's a branding opportunity that may be missed here. What did you hear on that front? Absolutely. Um, especially on the culinary scene, a lot of chefs and players were kind of getting together along with the Illinois Restaurant Association to really use this as a chance to let Chicago shine and show all of our you know, amazing restaurants. Um, they're still going forward with those plans um, to kind of partner with international chefs, but obviously you're losing out on a lot of really powerful people who were coming with the G8. Absolutely. Any chance for these chefs to get in the international spotlight is probably a good one. Right. So, all right, Bridget, good stuff. Okay. Thanks for the help. Great. Elsewhere today, sales of commercial properties in the Chicago area got a big boost last year. The total, including office, industrial, retail, apartment, and hotel sites, reached $10.8 billion. It's an 83% jump from 2010, according to Real Capital Analytics. That outpaced growth nationally, which saw a 57% increase. And two of the 25 largest U.S. deals last year were here in Chicago. Those were UBS AG's $400 million purchase of the Leo Burnett Building and Commonwealth REIT buying the old Montgomery Ward Building for $390 million. Analysts say the growth is likely to continue if the economy stays on the comeback trail as sales of distressed properties are also on the rise. And more jockeying for position among creditors of the Tribune Company as it works its way out of bankruptcy. Arguments at a hearing that began yesterday focused on what claims certain junior bondholders have in sharing any recoveries, including proceeds from lawsuits that came from Sam Zell's leveraged buyout of the company. In the meantime, the bills for climbing out of the hole keep piling up for Tribune. It spent nearly $230 million so far on its three-year-old bankruptcy and related litigation. On the plus side, though, the company's financial front appears to be improving. It increased its cash balance to over $2 billion in December from $1.78 billion a year earlier. And that's what's happening in Chicago business today. Stick with ChicagoBusiness.com for more breaking business headlines. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.